Uh, we got Keith here on. Hey, Keith, how are you, mate? I'm good. Nice to see you. Uh, you can see Jacob, but not me. Um, <laughs> we, uh, it's, gonna talk you know, about... I'm from Yorkshire, and we say nice to see you even when we call people on the phone. Do you say mate? We don't say mate. That's Londoners. Oh, really? Okay. Um, Londoners and Irish people, hence Australians. Oh, okay, yep, cool. Um, we're going to talk to you about the Just Me app. Um, it came out not long ago, and um, how's it been so far? Um, <coughs> fantastic and hellish at the same time. We had, um, you probably, I don't know how closely you tracked it, but we had, um, we had an awful first day because we, we shipped with a bug that we only discovered after we shipped, and it took Apple almost 24 hours to put the bug free version in the App Store. So for the first 24 hours, including when I was on stage at Demo, we had a terrible bug that affected about 10% of the people. Okay, yep. Yep. And about 100% of those 10% went ahead and gave us a one-star review because of that, whereas about you know 1% of everybody else gave us a five-star review. So uh, for some time we had pretty much 50-50 five-star reviews and one-star reviews, depending on whether you could actually get the app to work or not. Mm -hmm. So that was a terrible, terrible first day, and you know we had like 50,000 downloads. So we wow. had 45,000 customers loving it, and nice. about 5,000 having a problem. Okay, so it's all good now. People are loving it now. Yeah, we've done two releases since then. Uh, we've got another one which we submitted to Apple on Friday. By this coming Wednesday, we will be fairly happy with the app. We, we've been pretty unhappy with it ourselves up until now, although the numbers are great. Uh, I mean, if you look at, I don't know if you can see my screen there. Let me just do my screen share again. Uh, I got my take, iPad up for you. You take a look at, that's, you've got the website there. Yep. Take a look at my... Um, iPad, iPhone screen, and you know you look at the pictures in the trending public area, Istanbul. Um, somebody called Marlon Prendes Lopez. Uh, he's got three pictures there. Jesus Reyes, Cynthia Harris, who's from the U.S. Boan from China. This is also Chinese. This is Hebrew from Israel. I mean, people from all over the world are using this thing in their own language. Definitely, uh, I love it. Yeah, it's good, really good. Um, <clears throat> so we're pretty happy with it. It's very early days, so who knows uh, where it goes from here. What's the um, What's the update going to come through this week? This week, did you say? Uh, there'll be depends on Apple. We we gave it to Apple last Thursday, so typically they take about a week. So by oh. Wednesday, most likely by Wednesday, uh, we'll have it. Cool. What's in the uh, update? Can you tell us, or is it, is it a surprise? Uh, there's no surprise in this update. It's mainly a bug fix release. Um, basically, we've added. To, this is a technical point, but we, we're multi-threading a couple of background tasks that were previously on the UI thread, and it was really slowing down some of the scrolling. And now it'll be on a separate thread. Uh, mainly, it's the address book. Um, checking with the server to see how many of your people in your address book are just me members and putting a logo against their name so you know that they're just me members. Nice one. That, that was pulling down the UI thread and uh, we fixed that. Good one, good one. Um, and what about on the side where it says, um, what's it called? Let me check mine. I can't remember what it's called now. Something on the side. Uh, what did you do? Something, what did, oh, history. Um, is there any way you can change history from note to uh, notification? Um, is, that, is that notification? So, so history really is notifications. Okay. Um, to be honest, we called it history for a reason. We, we are going to develop that whole area. So what you currently see there is going to end up as, as kind of a activity log file kind of thing. Cool. And what will be in history is a much more calendar-centric, user-centric, searchable timeline um, that will be much more visual with images and video and everything that you, you know, it's basically the way that you look back on your past. 
so we wanted to call it history. We, did, we it was originally called Timeline, and then Facebook came out with Timeline, and we didn't want to. So we changed our name from Timeline to History, just so we didn't look like we were copying them, even though we had it first. And um, it, it's going to end up being beautiful. Um, so we called it History because that's what it's going to end up really being. And what you currently see there, which is notifications, that will end up being in, air, in an air, a separate area which has all the notifications. Nice one. Jake, any questions for Keith about the app? Mm, I have feature requests. Go ahead. I'm sure you'll be happy to hear it. Like, yeah. for me, Go into the email and go into the context just to make a new chat. It's a little much, but I would just like to hit one button and just yeah. like, and just go direct directly make it into a chat. So we have got a lot of plans for that. Um, I, I I I'm I'm tempted to give you a sneak peek of an internal document. Um, oh, please do. Uh, let me just see. <laughs> this uh, is just... Once I would like is a doodle pad. <laughs> <laughs> Send doodles between each other. So uh, this this document is. Uh, let me just. Uh, always use your iPhone. There you go. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, now you can see it. Okay. You see it? Yep, yes, we can. We can. Yep. So this is the next features that are coming. Wow. We're going to add the ability to filter your contacts by those who are members of Just Me. We're going to allow you to invite your contacts individually to join Just Me, but also collectively if you want. We're going to add an alert when a friend joins Just Me and allow you to d direct message a person who follows you. Anyone who follows you will be able to direct message. Yep. Uh, we're going to add share options in the public stream, so you'll be able to take anything in the public stream and push it to Facebook or via email or via Twitter or via a Just Me shared message or even into your private area. We want to add embeddable conversations. So any conversation in the public stream, you can take an embed code and put it into a separate website. We want to add vanity URLs so you can be just.me slash Brad or slash whatever. Yep. And those are all small things that we're going to do pretty quickly. We want to add something called Take Back. Take Back is like a better version of Snapchat. Okay. Um, anything you've published ever, you can take back. Not just from yourself, but from anyone else you sent it to. And. Uh, that's not the same as delete. Delete's just deleting your version of the thing, but take back is deleting every instance of the thing. Uh, we're adding search. We're going to improve the timeline, like I was just talking about. We're going to make the design a bit more people centric and a bit less message centric, which gets to your point about chat. And you notice at the moment we got chat. So you'll be able to go to, your, to the contact address list, touch a person, and it'll say new message, chat. Invite, you know, it'll all be there around a the person, mm -hmm. and chat will be a totally separate thing to messaging. Hmm. Sounds good. <clears throat> so it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna develop a lot rapidly. Android, of course, and then all of that is on an eight-week timeline. Wow. So we're gonna be iterating rapidly. Well, that sounds good. Jacob, what do you think about that? There you go. Yeah, you're not Thank supposed you. to clap. And there, yeah, that's good. That, I was applauding. <laughs> um, any other questions for Keith, Jacob? Mm, that's about it for right now. But that's, that's good enough. enough. It is good enough. Yeah, I can't wait for, the, for that update to come through them. Eight weeks, it's going to be good. And have you noticed how many people in China are using it? What's up? Have you noticed how many people from China are using the app? Yes, I have noticed. Yes, yes, I have. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's one of the few apps in China that has a public stream for obvious reasons. Yep. 
Definitely. Um, let me just see if I can go to App Annie. Um, check out something. There you go. Hot diggity dog. Wow. Uh, just a minute. I'm trying to find something else. That is what I was looking for. Here we go. Uh, we should... This is the countries that we're featured in for social networking and the position that we're featured. By the way, New Zealand's got us number one. Cool. What about Australia? Where's Australia? Australia is number nine. Okay. In, in new apps under social networking. Argentina, number two. China, number 16. Google, number six. Germany, six. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Um, so, so um, you know, there's a lot of reach in different countries around the world. Good stuff. So, is it going to be an iPad version coming in? Anytime soon, Keith, or is this the iPhone? Um, uh, we're going to focus on Android next, on 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 the on the uh, handheld size. And tablet, we'll do Android and iOS together um, later in the year, probably towards the end of the year. Actually, it's it's not the top priority. The top priority is to get as many handsets as possible, be able to use the messaging app plus the web. Yep. You can you can use the web version on a tablet. It's actually pretty nice on a tablet. So we're adding replies to the web version. Cool. Um, and then a proper native tablet version will come towards the end of the year. Sounds good. Sounds good. And, it, and um, it'll do different. It'll do different things. It won't be okay. just for pub. It'll be for reading more than publishing. All right. Okay. Well. Um, do you want to, what else do you want to say, Keith? People about the app. Um, I want more people on it. People need to use it more. Well, that'll happen. That's going to happen. I mean, it, you know, we're we're at about a thousand new users a day right now. That's good. And it's very early days. I mean, I've I've got investments in companies that, you know, don't even get one percent of that number every day. Uh, so it, it's a healthy number for this stage of the company. That's good. All right. Well, I can't wait for the update. That update in eight weeks is going to be good. That one you showed us or mentioned to us, and that'd be good. Oh, that's about ten updates. Oh, no. ten updates. Okay, that's not in. Okay, that's only one. Okay, one. Okay, that's like ten updates over the month or over the eight weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That sounds good. Jacob, what do you want to say before we go? Thanks for being on. Yeah. Thanks, Keith. Appreciate your time for being on, mate. Um, just me. Get the app from the app store. Um, yeah. Um, people are saying there's too many messaging apps, but I think this one's maybe the best one to you so far. Thank you for saying that. I don't know. I, I, it's going to end up being totally true. I, I, it's nice to hear that you think it's true. <laughs> I think it's true. And it's great. I'm trying to get people onto it, but they just keep telling me there's so many app messaging apps out there that I don't want to check a, another message app, you know? I know. There's another um, one out there. That... Jacob, he's, he's the one who just said it. He said to me a while, while back, I don't want to check it because well, there's another message. The thing app. is, it, it, it's way more than a messaging app. It's really a life recording app that includes messaging. Yep. If, if, the real payoff with just me is you do exactly the same as you do with any other messaging app, except you get a fantastic payoff of this beautiful timeline um, of both yours and other people's stuff um, that you just wouldn't get. I mean, otherwise you may as well stick to email and SMS. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this app you can do more. You can send voice recordings and take photos and video and that sort of stuff. And um, mm -hmm. really, really nice app. Um, it's Star Trek. It's it's Captain's Log, star date fifty five point two, blah blah. Have you ever seen that? Where everything they do is recorded. It's um, turning the iPhone into a universal communicator that records everything you choose to record and lets you remember it later. Look, moments I like to remember. Look at this. Oh guy. yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, no, 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 that's no, no, exactly no, no. what it's for. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, have you seen Robert Scobel's Google Glasses yet? Um, I've. I have not. I have seen him doing it, but I didn't see him in the shower. Uh, uh, that's turning um, into a meme. 
time. I'm not a believer. I'm not a. I must admit, I'm a skeptic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's great that they're working on it, and something good will come of it at some point. But it reminds me of the Apple Newton. You know, it's like ten years too early and the wrong thing. Yep. But there's but there's something in it, and that whatever that something is will ultimately come out. But it's too early. Definitely. Um, all right. Was that it you want to mention before we go, Keith? Was, I got you on because you had a spare couple of minutes. So. I'll oh, just hello to everyone in Australia. Thanks for having me on, and I'll talk to you all soon. Good. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah. Bye. Bye.